Get ready with me as I show you my go-to fit right now for summer. One thing that has me shaken up recently has been the rolling back of reproductive rights in this country following the overturning of Roe v. Wade. On the 27th of June, the Supreme Court dismissed a huge case in Idaho temporarily ruling that a law called IMTALA that requires hospitals to provide life-saving care, including abortion care in cases of emergency, overrides Idaho's abortion ban, i.e. you have to give pregnant people the same consideration as non-pregnant people in life-saving situations. The fact that this is something that even needed to be debated is disgusting and deeply worrying as a person who could become pregnant in this country. Even though they dismissed the case in Idaho, this is not a victory for reproductive rights. It's just kicking the problem back down to the lower courts to be dealt with later. Medical decisions should remain between me and my doctor, not intervened by courts and men who have no backing in science holding political positions. It's obvious what kind of future the powers that govern the United States wish for women and people who can become pregnant. I, for one, am an American woman who is deeply embarrassed and scared for the way even my own home state, Arkansas, has handled the overturning of Roe. I challenge you as a viewer to stay alert to the sneaky changes that have been made already in our states and look out for ballot measures that protect your right to medical privacy and the right to make your own medical decisions because a certain group of our country has decided it shouldn't be up to you. To leave you with some hope, this is a universally unpopular decision that is being made by the most extreme right-wing figures in our country. 63% of Americans polled said abortion should be legal in all or most circumstances, whereas only 36% believe it should be illegal in most cases. This is a statistic that should bolster your faith in the people, not the institutions allowing the gutting of our rights. If you'd like to stay up to date, one of my favorite writers and advocates for reproductive rights is Jessica Valenti, who is doing good and hard work writing about abortion access every single day. I believe that we as the women of the U.S. can come together and say enough is enough. Keep politics out of my pants, please.